place to be or to sit there dreaming well anyway yeah the 08 vintage like i said was outstanding uh and all the vineyards that come to walnut city wine works performed wonderfully pinot noirs particularly and we can always speak about pinot noirs because it's kind of what we're here for really i mean most of us are here because of guys that were here before us, the, the Letts and the Ponzi's and the Fred Benoit's of the world, always trying to make great Pinot Noir. Fox Ridge Vineyard, where we're standing today, Rocky Hill Vineyard, Raja Vineyard, those guys are kind of also what make us special. I mean, we've worked with these guys for a long time. We have a connection on the viticultural side as well as the winery. and you know, it's been a good relationship and we kind of have a family unit. Uh, we like to think of ourselves as a family and certainly my partner, John Davidson and I have been doing business together since 1986. So we have farmed vineyards for a awful long time and we have identified over the years many great sites and we're fortunate enough to be able to uh, still farm them either by way of leasing properties or having these outstanding individuals as as vineyard owners and I keep saying Pinot Noir because that's kind of again why we're all here is to do Pinot Noir uh, continue to make the best wine we possibly can and um, and it's not just uh, Walnut City Wine Works it's uh, you know all of us here in the Willamette Valley you know looking for great Pinot Noir sites and trying to make the best wines we possibly can uh, my name is Barrett Rostick. I'm the assistant winemaker here at uh, Walnut City uh, Wine Works. Um, we are in a, a later stage of harvest. Every, all the fruit's been harvested, uh, brought in, processed, and has begun fermentation. And now we're towards the end of most of those fermentations where we've begun pressing off uh, the wines and barreling things down for aging. So uh, during the fermentation, the uh, yeast are metabolizing uh, sugars into alcohols, and it's a respiratory. The law of the respiration is uh, CO2, and it'll rise and uh, create this barrier. And so we need to uh, to manage the excess heat that's coming off so it doesn't cook itself out, um, and to get more extraction, uh, we'll uh, manually punch down the cap uh, to submerge everything and get it mixed. Um, during the height of it, we'll probably do it two or three times a day. Towards uh, at the beginning and towards the end, it'll probably be done just once a day. Um, and as the cap is uh, collapsing and the fermentation is coming to uh, its end point, uh, where most of the metabolites are consumed, uh, will drain into uh, tanks. Uh, the free run juice uh, using our stainless steel uh, torpedo things, and then uh, we'll be transferring the must, uh, the solids, into a bin that we can rotate and dump into our press and uh, inflate and compress all the uh, extra juice out of. Um, we can transfer it directly into uh, uh, tanks or barrels, uh, usually into a tank uh, first, and then we'll barrel down. So uh, now that uh, we're, the majority of everything's in barrel, we'll finish off in the next couple of days, and uh, then all that will go to aging, where we'll uh, have a little maintenance of uh, topping and uh, some analysis on lots and continued monitoring. Um, and then uh, we'll be gearing up to finish bottling our 07s that we had to put on hold for this harvest uh, in the next month. Um, I, I, I do get a chance to taste some of those 07 reserves um, and they're, you know, they're going to be good. Uh, the 07 was a more difficult vintage in general. The, uh, the, the Willamette Valley Pinots 07 across the board are, uh, they're not lesser wines, but it was a tougher vintage. The, Viticulturally, viticulturally speaking, the vineyards gave us a lot of fruit, and uh, the wines are um, they're they're Willamette Valley appropriate, and the reserve Pinot Noirs for 07 are going to be good. They're going to be as good as uh, any year, and we again because we have identified vineyards, we get a certain consistency with wine quality 
you know, vintage to vintage. And a lot of that is site related and uh, farming practices and just the, you know, the familiarity with how this uh, all turns into great wines. Mm -hmm.